I bet the sky will never see a passenger airplane as big as the A380. Behind me is the final A380, just flew in from the Airbus factory. With me in the cockpit, joining me here is Captain Dwayne Walker, who flew the very last A380 delivery flight from Hamburg to Dubai here. We all saw the footage after takeoff. You didn't just leave the field. You came back. You came back to say goodbye, and then you did a go around, right? Well, Sam, the reason that we came around and did the the go around was to commemorate, you know, a special occasion. Everybody there in Hamburg knew it was the last de delivery of the A380 and we wanted to give it a proper send-off. So normally we wouldn't we wouldn't take off, come back around and land, but it made for a really really nice send-off for the entire Hamburg crew and the 380 in general. You have plenty of power. We hear the engine roaring. Uh, but we feel like crying with you because it was the very last departing Hamburg. Yeah, it really was tough. You know, as I said, my crew, it's, it's a fairly normal flight, but we kind of felt how like special it was. And we had to kind of put that aside and make sure we all did our job properly. But it was difficult to kind of set that aside and actually not feel the weight of that special moment. So, so much, you know, emotion on this airplane from the engineers that spent, you know, a better part of a decade you know, making this airplane what it is, that, that we wanted to give it, you know, a proper send off. I think they uh, earned it and it was really a nice special occasion to be a part of. And it may have been the end of the line for, uh, you know, this airplane at the factory, but we, we plan on flying this airplane into the next decade and passengers just, just love the experience. Also, a lot of people interested to know, um, you have two different variants on the engines, on the GP7200 and the Rolls-Royce. What's the difference in performance on these variants, on the A380? Yeah, so the difference in engines is is marginal. The Engine Alliance has 70,000 pounds of thrust per engine, and the Rolls-Royce has 72,000 pounds of thrust per engine. And when we first took delivery of the A380s, a go around was performed using something known as toga, you know, full, full power. Well, over the years, they found that we didn't need full power, you know, to perform a go around. So we utilized something called soft go around. And that's what we did in um, Hamburg. And you may have heard it's like a two stage power um, setting. You hear the engine slowly roar, make a rumbling sound, and then the soft go around takes effect and it moves the 440 tons back into the air. Tell me, with the addition of this airplane, how many A480 is currently operating now in Amherst Fleet? Uh, we're currently flying just over 50 A380s under the current program, and we're adding more every week. So although Echo Victor Sierra was the end for the Airbus factory, um, it's just the beginning for us, and we're continuing to get as many 380s back in the air as possible. And, and give that experience to our customers well into the next decade. I think not just myself, a lot of passengers who have felt and tried the A380 fell in love with this airplane because there's not many airplanes can offer this spaciousness. We saw the beautiful cabin on this 380. There's a lot of work actually behind the delivery of such an airplane at the manufacturer's end 
together with acceptance team from the airline they have to do all the ground check the cabin check the cockpit check pilot performing acceptance test flights and EASA the uh, Civil Aviation Authority has to issue the airworthiness review certificate before delivering to the customer like Emirates So while I was having the tour in the cabin, I met the engineer here who was actually preparing the very last A380 to enter commercial service. In fact, it will enter service this Friday to Frankfurt. Amjad, I think you've got a few things to show me what you're doing to preparing this, right? Yeah. Sam, come with me. I'll show you what we do. Yeah. You see, uh, when we receive the aircraft, it's pretty much as uh, MRS configuration but we do some additional work, like we install these plug cards on the doors so that the passengers, they know which door they are, and passengers and cabin crew, they know the which door they are at. Ah, you adding the plug card when the plane arrives in Dubai. That's correct. We install this uh, additional equipment for the cabin crew, if you see that. So this is, much, this is for the pack, uh, cabin crew, if, for them to use it in case of emergencies. All right, Sam, check this one out. What's here? This is a Scala Mobile. We install it over here in Dubai after we receive the aircraft from Hamburg. And this is used for the people of determination to carry them on board in the upper deck for the first class or business class or the lounge area. Oh, so you carry people who need to use this mobile unit to go upstairs? That's correct. Wow, I've never seen something like that. Never thought you have something like this. So you guys install this in Dubai when the airplane arrived? Yeah. Uh, we also install an RFID uh, tag. What's RFID? It's a uh, radio uh, frequency identification tag, which is already in, uh, installed in, inside the life vest. So what we do is like when we do a maintenance scan, it, it catches by itself saying that this particular life vest is installed at this location. So it will remember the seats. This is from seats 35A, something like that. That's correct. Business class over here, we do uh, install a protective cover uh, so that you know it will, uh, the seat won't get damaged when the passengers and the trolleys are moving uh, to protect the seats because seats are very expensive. I want to share with you something very personal. I will never forget the date, 27 April 2005. What happened on this date? It's because the very first A380 maiden departure. I came all the way, flew 22 hours from Australia to Toulouse in France. Among many people, we went there. We went to witness the history, the very first A380 takeoff. 570 tons of airplane rotate just like that. It was a dream for many people to see the world's biggest airplane airborne. And I will never forget that date. You might have a question. How much is an A380 cost? The list price of an A380 is 445 million makes it the world's most expensive passenger aircraft and the most lavish one, of course. But the A380 hasn't been the game changer Airbus has hoped. With the advancement of the twin engine efficiency aircraft, the A380 production stopped it at just 251. And this is the very last A380 I'm sitting on. I guess the silver lining message out of all this is that this airplane will be start flying soon for the next 10 to 15 years. So there will be still a lot of time for people to enjoy the A380.
loving the A380 like I do. And here's to many more happy landings.